Oh yeah, what's happening YouTube family? It's your boy Koozie and I'm back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. And today, we're gonna do some creepy and bizarre TikTok reactions. I'm talking about the kind that's gonna have you rethink from reality. With that said, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Oh yeah, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Don't believe anything you hear or see in these videos. Don't believe anything that I say in these videos. Always use your own discernment and always do your own research. With that said, let's get right hold to on, the Hold on, hold on. Because now they saying that dairy cows from Texas have reportedly test positive for the bird flu. So for those people who drink milk, you gonna wanna hear this. Yeah, the milk from dairy cows in Texas and Kansas has tested positive for bird flu. So it's not only Texas. Yep, it has been confirmed that the bird flu virus is a type A H5N1 strain. Yeah, it's been known for decades to cause outbreaks in the bird flu. And it comes after a week that officials say that Minnesota has announced that Ghost on a Farm has had an outbreak of the bird flu too. They say that the milk supply is safe and the risk to people is low. Now they say that they separate and destroy the old milk that comes from these sick animals. Now all I'm saying is, if we start to see the bird flu start to go crazy, we know where it came from. But I, this is exactly why I don't drink milk to begin with. If I am eating cereal or something, it's either oat milk or almond milk. But I'm interested on in what y'all think about this dairy cow bird flu outbreak. Yeah, let me let me know in the comments. Like a follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Hey man, that's crazy, man. We definitely don't need another outbreak right now. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that bird flu outbreak right now. Do y'all think it was intentional or accident? Down below in the comment section. All right, so here's the deal, y'all. Chick-fil-A was just busted for dangerously high amounts of prescription drugs in their sandwich. And look at all these freaking ingredients. Do you eat, eat, surely those of you following me are smart enough to know that this is not real food. This is a bunch of complete shit. It's chemicals. It's all kinds of really, really dangerous ingredients that make up this freaking chicken sandwich. And you know why they do it? Because it's cheap and they save money and they put all these harmful ingredients in the food to preserve it and keep it longer because they want your money. Guys, stop eating fast food. I beg you, stop eating fast food. And for the love of God, please check out the link in my bio. If you want to take your health back, I have all kinds of programs up there that will change your life. Take the step to make a difference in your health right now. And I dare you to get up there in that link in the bio and grab my new program. It's the first one that's there. I promise it'll change your life. So someone posed a really good question. A113. Let's talk about it. So A113 shows up in a lot of cartoons, a lot of films, all that kind of stuff. Check this out. Now the official narrative is that it's a room at the California Institute of Arts where a lot of animators took a class. That's the official story. I find it really interesting because symbolism is very important in the entertainment industry. What do you guys think? Do you believe the official narrative or do you think there's something more to it? See, that's, that's the stuff with me. Ah, I'm one to believe there's more to it, man. I don't know about y'all, you know what I mean? But I want to put something on y'all, but if you constantly saying something over and over, something like that, a symbol like that or numbers, it's definitely no coincidence. And one more thing, since I didn't react to the clip before that, how many of y'all still go out there and eat those chicken sandwiches? Because I'm definitely not, man. Everybody knows that them chicken sandwiches uh, have more ingredients than just chicken, flour, egg, and whatever else you can add to a chicken sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Other than all those chemicals, man. If you gotta add chemicals, it's not good for you. And I don't want to. Like unless you're a spiritual approach, yes, person, yeah. you can understand. If you're not a spiritual person, you would just see it in more of a lo logical, physical way. But there is spiritual things. And once you tap into that, you know it could come at you quick. You have to invite it. You, you were just not inviting it. If you really wanted to see the devil, you can. I already saw the devil. You're you get possessed every night, bro. And you don't want to know the devil. Yeah, the uh, devil's trust not gonna, me. He, the he devil's knows that not guy. not going to come at you like, hey, like, like. Like scary. He's the scary. devil came me in a form that I'm not going to talk about again. You he knows about that. He could come in. You guys, oh my God. 
And that's definitely true. You do not want to know the devil. I don't know why they want to play with the devil like that. The devil is not going to come to you and no, as no red, red man, humanoid being with horns and a tail. No, man, he's going to come to you as something shiny and beautiful, something that you least expect. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He probably already came to you before. You just didn't know it. Probably a beautiful girl or a handsome man in your life. And you wonder why your life went down the shit. It answers everything. Watch this. I told you everything was a distraction, right? Stop watching P. Diddy. Dollar maximum. Come on, y'all. We got to start paying attention, man. Don't fall for the boo boo, man. I'm telling you, that's what it's really about, man. I don't, it's distractions, man. They trying to get us distracted so we can't, like he just said, so we won't be paying attention to what's really going on. We're going to throw a bunch of this, I mean, a bunch of smoke screens, you know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't paying attention to what's going on the other way, you know what I'm saying, behind you. Let's go, though, man. It, it's, this is obvious, man. They keep doing this every single time there's some major going on y'all and we already know this if you don't you got to jump on the bandwagon and start pe peeping the game man first to the period in the solar cycle when the sun's activity particularly sunspots and solar flares <coughs> is at its highest this phase occurs approximately every 11 years during solar maximum there is an increase in solar radiation and geomagnetic activity which can impact various aspects of space weather, satellite operations, and radio communications on Earth. During solar maximum, the sun's magnetic field becomes more complex, and there can be shifts or changes in the sun's polar magnetic fields. This phenomenon is part of the overall solar cycle, where the sun's magnetic activity fluctuates over an approximately 11-year period, however, the specific timing and extent of polar shifts during solar maximum can vary from one cycle to another. Unlike the Earth, however, the Sun's global dipole magnetic field flips or reverses polarity every 11 years around the maximum phase of each 11-year solar cycle. During the reversal, the polarity of the solar polar fields in both hemispheres reverses or changes to the opposite polarity. The sun's poles last reversed in 2013. Scientists expect the next reversal to appear in 2025. So you guys know how they tell us everything. Hey, y'all, too bad. That's, that can only be true and conclusive if the uh, if we were on a round earth. That wouldn't work if we was on a flat plane. <laughs> if you hear me. Hit me now. You know what I'm saying? Movies and TV shows. Thank Have you guys seen the Dark Tower? Check this out, y'all. are done in a controlled, child-friendly environment. We have a great deal of experience with cases like yours. I gotta go watch the movies, yeah. 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 This is literally yeah. by what we mean by Earth is an energy matrix. These people literally steal us for our energy and they're amongst us every single day. They steal kids. Look at that. They're amongst us every single day. They look like Keanu Reeves, honestly. And then this, they tell you all that has done in a controlled manner. But who is controlling them? Who is experimenting on them? Who's making sure that their mind is correct? They're not having hallucinations and whatnot. Let me ask you a question. Isn't a lot of people going through this right now, y'all? Aren't a lot of y'all going through this right now? A lot of people are leaving these in the comments that they're experiencing. These. Night terrors, hallucination. Women are saying their monthly is acting up. Up, either they stopped or they're inconsistent respiratory issues there's a lot going on in the world right now this literally shows you that we are going through a shift but you see how they tell you everything in these movies y'all what do y'all mm -hmm. think about this movie have y'all seen that yet this is why the 
Hey, for real, for real. Dark Tower is definitely one to go check out, man. I think I'm gonna watch it again today. But uh, just think about what they saying about this and what he was saying about that and they're talking about people who was talking about they've been seeing things like that, have been going through things like that lately. Think about the new Demon Face Syndrome that just came out. Yeah, they run hand in hand. They can be telling you, seeing, you know what I'm saying? Those creatures that was in that movie, they can be like, yeah, those, that's just part of the sickness, the syndrome, you know what I'm saying? That uh, that you have, uh, that's why you're seeing those. That's, that, that, don't worry about it, they're not real. We got something for you. It's just gonna be something to make you probably see something different than what's real, you know what I mean? Picture in some type of dream state. Ah, oh, oh, man, I don't know. They gonna come up with something though, but I believe that's, I believe they run hand in hand, in my in my opinion, though. Do y'all let me know what y'all think. Does it have something to do date with Date of that? Easter was set to the first Sunday of the first full moon after the spring equinox. They set this date in accordance with the already known pagan festival. They just replaced the meaning with the resurrection of Christ because it's still aligned with their already pagan beliefs. Many researchers say that the name Easter derives from the other name of the moon goddess Semiramis, which is Ishtar. And that Easter is the correct pronunciation of this name Ishtar in Semitic dialects. Easter. The ancient Saxons in Northern Europe worshipped the goddess Oyster at the time of spring equinox. This is the same mother goddess, the same queen of heaven. Uh, no, it's not. No fall for the boo boo, man. Ishtar was a pagan god, you know, something like that with the Sumerians and stuff worship. And uh, the rabbits represents fertility, you know, and you know, rabbits don't lay eggs. Come on now. Uh, they don't have nothing to do with Easter, in my humble opinion, you know what I'm saying? These people just have us worshiping all kind of stuff, celebrating all kind of these pagan holidays, and we don't even know what we're worshiping, you know, since, because we just worship it, you know, and celebrate it because that's what we taught, you know, and our people before us are, you know. People before us, like our parents and grandparents, we don't ask questions, we just celebrate it because they celebrate it. Well, y'all, it's time to start asking asking questions because ignorance is bliss. Let's get it. Let me ask you a question. Do you think the president of the United States, it stops there? No, he's not in control. No, I don't think he's in control at all. I think Fuck there's no. so many other people behind that. I think, like, the CEO of Northrop Grumman is in control of America and fucking Raytheon and all these giant, you I know. I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. The, those are the companies that have all the government contracts. So okay. the ones that build the airplanes, the weapons that, you know, run all the, you know, government buildings and all that. Those are the people that are in charge. And a handful of billionaires. So what we're not going to do is we're not going to... Got a question for y'all. Who do y'all think is in charge? Because I definitely know. Act like Ryan Garcia didn't call it on one of his Twitter rants. Mm hmm. Y'all see it? Something bad is going to happen in Baltimore, Maryland on March 26, 2024. And then exactly in Baltimore, Maryland, on the date he said something bad did happen. This should make y'all think, though, gang, because he also said a lot more stuff in these Twitter rants. Now, I'm not saying that everything that he's saying. I believe it, but we can't negate the fact that he just said it right here. He said it on Twitter. He also said a lot more stuff that y'all need to pay attention to. Because facts, facts, and all this other stuff are waiting in some shape or form. And y'all remember when he said the June 6th earthquake, bad. Somebody in the comments broke it down. 6, 6, 4 plus 2, that equals 6, which is, come on now. The crazy thing to be represented as the pagan fertility. Hey man, I don't know nothing about that Jumatria like that, but hey man, he did say that in uh man, hey, we found out, you know, cause it some stuff did happen, some bad did happen, man. So yeah, can't say he didn't say it. They got a lot of people gonna be out there and be like, AI, AI, hey, you know what I'm saying? The original pagan festival what? of Easter was a sex orgy that celebrated the return of life via the fertility of Semiramis, hmm. aka Ishtar's conception of Tammuz. Worshippers of the ancient Babylonian religion celebrated the conception, we go, not Babylon. birth, but conception. Oh, what I meant, the Babylon, not Sumerian. Conception of Tammuz on the first Sunday after the full moon that followed the spring equinox. They celebrated it by baking cakes to Ishtar, getting drunk, 
engaging in sex orgies and prostitution in the Temple of Ishtar. Women were required to celebrate the conception of Tammuz by laying down in the temple and having sex with whoever entered. Babies were then sacrificed in the honor of these pagan gods and their blood was consumed by the worshippers. Mm -hmm. The priest of Easter would sacrifice infants, human babies, and take the eggs of Easter slash Ishtar as symbols of fertility and dye them in the blood of the sacrificed infants. The Easter eggs would hatch on December 25th, nine months later. The same day her son Tammuz, the reincarnate sun god, would be born. You will see her mentioned in Judges chapter 10, verse 6, or 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 5. This is the mother goddess and the celebration of Easter, and the customs associated with Easter all come from this worship. It has nothing to do with Yahshua. It is the commemoration of the conception of the reborn sun god born on December 25th. This is what Easter is. Mm. Now, without going into complete detail about Rome and their supposed conversion to Christianity, there are some dots that should be connected. The Romans were pagans before their conversion. They believed in the same father god, mother god, son of god concept created by ancient Babylon. They just replaced the names and made us believe that Yahweh is the father god, Mary is the mother goddess, and Jesus Christ is the son of God. They already celebrated these pagan festivals. This is why the date of Easter was set to the first Sunday of the first full moon after the spring equinox. They set this date in accordance with their already known pagan festival. They just replaced the meaning with the resurrection of Christ. Easter is a pagan holiday, regardless if we have decided to change the reason why we acknowledge the date, even down to the name Easter. Now many researchers say that the name Easter derives from the other name of the moon goddess Semiramis, which is Ishtar, and that Easter is a correct pronunciation of this name, Ishtar, in Semitic dialects. Another says the word Easter is of Saxon origin and it is derived from the word Esoter, aka Easter. The ancient Saxons in Northern Europe worshipped the goddess Oester at the time of the spring equinox. This is the same mother goddess, queen of heaven. Either way, no matter where it comes from, it is easily discerned that this name has nothing to do with Yahshua. Nothing at all. And the funny thing is that churches today know this, but instead of them digging deeper, they just decided to change the name to the Resurrection Sunday and make that the solution. But that is far from the solution. Hmm. Changing the name does not change what is being worshipped. Easter eggs. The symbol of the rebirth of life in the springtime is the egg. Eggs, since ancient times, were known to be very prominent as symbols of new life and resurrection. Ishtar's supernatural egg was now considered an emblem of generative life and rebirth, better known as Ishtar's eggs or Easter eggs. The Easter egg is in reference Man. to a woman's reproduction, her fertility. This makes sense as Ishtar is the goddess of fertility and a woman's egg is how she produces. As I explained earlier, the priest of Easter would sacrifice infants, human babies. You see, many babies will be born around December 25th from those sex orgies that began on the feast of Ishtar in the spring. And then horribly, many of these babies would then be sacrificed the following Easter. The priest would then take the eggs as symbols of fertility and dye them in the blood of the sacrificed infants. Horrible. So anytime you are dealing with Easter eggs, mm -hmm. dyeing them, and Easter egg hunts, you are participating in an ancient pagan culture that dealt in blood sacrifice and worship of the mother goddess. Nothing about Easter eggs are harmless. It just has been marketed to us this way. If your church has participated and had Easter egg hunts, question the leadership there. Telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. I always said that, man. 
That's crazy, because they did a deep dive into it, and a lot of people out here ain't going to be into it. They ain't want to hear it, man. But hey, they're going to be mad. Hey, but that's my job to keep y'all on your P's and Q's. And it's your job to pick up the game that I'm dropping for you, man. For real, because uh, a lot of people don't want y'all to know this out here, man. Because hey, whether you know it or not, like they say, like Ryan say, it's their job to put it in front of you. That's all they got to do to put it in front of you, and they pin it in front of you, and you willingly partake in it to these activities, man. Come on, man. You part of the problem if you partake in it to these activities, man. Whether you say it's harmless or not, oh, we just want the kids to have fun. All right, keep on. You partaking in in these in these sacri in these uh in these uh rituals is what I'm gonna use. That's the word I'm gonna use because uh, that's exactly what it is. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down below about that video clip <laughs> in the comment section uh, because hey, it's gonna be a lot of people ain't gonna like this, but it's all right though. It's all right. It's a safe haven. Because we don't have tanks all around and missiles flying by and boots on the ground and guns going off doesn't mean that we're not at war. The war we're about to see on our own soil is not going to be a Saving Private Ryan movie. It's going to be attack of our infrastructure, bank account, the food that we eat. This, I'm afraid, is just an example of what's to come in the next few months getting closer to the election. And we like to call them black swan events. I mean, this bridge was not small. You're talking four lanes with a median. Pretty fucking big ass bridge. And it fell apart like it was glued toothpicks. Now that that's blocked, all of these people are gonna suffer in Washington DC and Maryland. I mean, that is a major infrastructure hit right there. Reports are saying that the power kept going on and off of this ship, but it did a full U-turn before this happened. And then, that's not a slight turn, that's a hard right. Gotta love replay. Could you imagine if they tried to pull a 9-11 in 2024 with our 4K phones, everybody recording? Not possible. Things gotta look like accidents like this. And who do you think is gonna get hired to rebuild that bridge for cheap? It's not gonna be U.S. citizens, right? It's only March. We have plenty of time for more accidents to come. You ever heard of Dysonian? No, what is that? So hey, and think about one more thing, man. Uh... That's not a coincidence, man. That's all I got to say because uh, when that happened, you got the Diddy situation and all kind of other situations going on like we talked about earlier in the video, man. Like, that's just a distraction, man. For real. And then you think about the Leave the World Behind movie and all that stuff. Like, man, come on, man. It, it ain't no coincidence, man. Because I think what they said, that... That, that shit was named the lion or something like that if i'm not mistaken and the other one in the movie was named the white lion hey ain't no coincidence and it kind of looked like exactly like the same type of cruise ship or, or or container ship that it was in the uh leave the world behind movie man like i say no coincidence and then one more thing you gotta think about the eclipse that's meant to come you know what i'm saying uh this month on the 8th like man did that have something to do with it too do they not want them people to be you know, be able to move around or travel or escape from what they trying to, you know, if maybe it's a national, national, natural disaster during the eclipse. Like, come on, man, what's, what's really going on? Y'all don't, don't forget about the eclipse, man. It's coming up. No bridge. That means y'all can't get to get your supplies and all this and that, you know, if y'all need to go across the bridge or whatever. whatever. Dysinian is a blacklisted element. And I think just like a material found naturally in the world. Yeah. If you try Google Dysinian glass, mm -hmm. you can't find it anywhere. There was this scientist, yeah. he discovered that using Dysinian, it's like a dye. Yeah. You get it naturally and you turn it into a dye and you put it into like a glass mixture and you can use it to make like glasses and, and shields and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He ended up making these glasses called Dysinian glasses. Okay. This is how they prove there's such thing as a human aura. With these glasses, yeah, yeah. you know how our eyes can only see um we can only see a certain frequency of light with the dysinian it shows just like how a different animal just like how sure. i think bats can see certain certain yeah, frequencies yeah, yeah, of yeah. light you're able to see like an aura of a person an aura of a person apparently spirits Whoa. apparently spirit man that's crazy how many out there have heard of uh, dysinian glad because i really haven't heard of into this video but i guess it's something like uh like the in the movie they live where you can see the creatures and stuff i i'm i'm guessing you know that's what it sound like to me but uh y'all let me know what y'all think about that 
That would be cool, though. That would be cool. I would love it. It wouldn't be 2024 without a new sickness or syndrome. Great news. There's a new syndrome out there called the Demon Syndrome. And what's so weird is it's on so many different news platforms right now. Scientific term is prosopometamorphopsia. Say that three times fast. So there's only... Say, man, you can't tell me they ain't just make up this name, man. <laughs> they be making up diseases and stuff, like names and stuff, man. 75 cases, huh? Well, I think I'm going to be number 76. Hear me out. We've all seen what happens to Beyonce when she starts shaking her head, huh? Yeah. Or the weird shit that happens at concerts and in Hollywood. People take photos and they're just distorted. Or are they? Maybe you're just catching what you're supposed to be seeing. Not to mention every concert you're at today is like a first class ticket to hell. Portals on portals. Boy, they love them portals. Everything doesn't have to be a syndrome or a disorder. What if they're gaslighting the fuck out of you because you're about to start seeing weird shit? It's like the movie They Live with Rowdy Roddy yeah. Piper, you remember? He'd put the shades on and see people for what they were. What's your problem? We are already in hell, so I don't find this too far-fetched at all. It's only March. It's literally only March of 2024. How much more shit can we go through at this point? What's your problem? For real though. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that thing. I said, what's your problem? today sir okay how's it going bye thank you thank you sir now there's a reason they changed that and the you know i don't know why they figured out that they even could change the color you know whatever whatever but they changed the, they were able to change the color and i guess it's not the color specifically that it matters it's just the chemical and the color of that chemical and what it allows you to be able to see now, again, if you haven't looked into this, it's called like diacin or disanin or something like that. Disanin or diacin uh, is the name of the chemical. And it's derived from uh, resin from melted coal. Uh, from, I'm pretty sure it was coal. <coughs> so, what this chemical allows you to see that they were using on these first generation goggles that it, you know makes it red or whatever supposedly and the reason that they stopped using this exact chemical is uh it was allowing them to see demons you know whatever they were seeing shit that they shouldn't have been seeing that wasn't there if they took the goggles off Boy, I'm telling you, what would you do if you ran across some stuff like that? Man, I would be like, man, hey, I would think I'm losing my mind. I would definitely have to tell somebody else, like, man, hey, man, look at this. Look through these, man. Do you see what, what you see, man? And shit, it, 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 we got this. We we'll have to make mo mass production, man. It's time to, hey, we got to get the work done for real though, cause uh, we can't have them taking over what's what's ours or what we thought was ours. That or we got to come, we got to find out what's really going on, man. We got to get to the bottom of it, man. How long have y'all been here? What, why are y'all here? You know what I'm saying? What is y'all, you know, what is y'all playing with us? You said what? You said Ryan Garcia didn't say what? I'm sorry, you said Ron Garcia didn't say what now? He came out and confirmed it himself. As y'all know, during that time, I didn't tweet and was writing a bunch of stuff. My tweets was constantly deleted. I was showing proof. And then he continues to say, I would say that it is not me that knows, but God, the Holy Spirit speaks to me. He goes along to say that he will pray mm. for the people that's in Baltimore. Then, like I said once before, his tweets have got deleted and not by his doing you said it right there see i was just waiting for him to come and confirm what we already been seeing 
That's the problem with AI nowadays Is it got everybody thinking That everything fake When everything you see It ain't fake Once again the prediction That Ron Garcia said Was not confirmed by him himself I can't tell you if he actually predicted it Or if he knew some other type of way But what I do know Is he made this post before it happened Y'all let me know what y'all think about Ron Garcia confirming his predictions on Twitter in the comments. New neck. Come on now. Y'all don't be, uh, y'all don't sleep on Ryan, man. Ryan told y'all what was going on, what was going to happen, man. Hey, it's a lot of stuff out here going on, man. It's a lot going on out here, and a lot more stuff that's going to happen, man. For real, y'all better stay prayed up. We got to get together. Like I say, this is a safe haven. We got to come together. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Man, oh hell no, nah, man. What are we doing, man? If if we get in a situation like this, where a giant mothership approaches over us or uncloaks itself, like it's ain't no t ain't no telling how long it's been above us like that. But it uncloaks itself and reveals itself to us like that, and it has a giant eye up in the sky, up under it. Like what the hell? That did that looked like a giant eye to me. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? I know I'm fit to. <gasps> hey, hey, lock and load. Let's go. You know what? What are we doing, y'all? <laughs> Come on, man. We got to protect. We got to protect each other. We got to hold it down. Along the cornerstone of the counterinsurgency doctrine, casualties. Along the cornerstone of the counterinsurgency Hey y'all, this some bull. <clears throat> they just pitted it right in front of our eyes, y'all, man. Don't fall for the boo boo now. They just showed y'all about our firmament, and you he heard them say, and it floated. Didn't that look like it splashed into some water, man? Like some waters above? Exactly. Hey, use your own discernment, man. Do your own research, y'all. Come up with your own opinion. And let me know what y'all Bullshit right here, bro. They're trying to say this stone that they're heating up produces a residue that basically turns your ass into Wolverine. Like, I've never seen anyone heal like this except in a Marvel movie. Like, they're calling it a magic stone. But that stone might be Compound V in real life. All they need to do now is put this stuff in some vials and sell it. <laughs> uh... I really don't know how real that was and it didn't give any name. It said the Pharaoh's stone, the Pharaoh's magic stone or something like that. That's about it. But uh, I don't know how true that was, how real it was. I'm at the call cap, y'all, for real on that one. Let's get it on. What y'all think? Y'all think it was real or fake? Let me know down below. Now we know that they've been lying to us about everything, right? Everything. Mm. But somebody got some explaining to do, okay? How could nine times any number be nine? Huh? Any number you multiply by nine, the answer is still nine. What in the world? They've been hiding so much from us. Now it's getting deep, y'all. It's something with these numbers, okay? There's something behind these numbers. How is that so? 
How could it be? Nine times nine is 81. 81. Eight plus one is nine. Nine times two is 18. 18. One plus eight is nine. And it goes on and mm. on. It does not matter what number you use. It's still going to be nine. It's still going to be nine. It's not just nine times one equals nine. No, it's nine times any number is nine. That's mind blowing, y'all. That's mind blowing. They've been lying a lot. It's getting deep. It's getting deep, y'all. Somebody gonna have to explain that to me. Go ahead and work it out. Go ahead and try it on your calculator. I don't care what number you use. The answer is still nine. How is that so? <sighs> mm, gather myself, honey. Oh my gosh, because they've been hiding the truth from us. And what about the 144 that speaks of, that they speak of in the Bible? The 144 before thousand. 144. Mm. 1 plus 4, four is plus 5. Four plus plus four, 4 is 9. 9. 144,000. Mm. Somebody got to explain that to me. Make it make sense to me. Make it make sense to me. In the comments, tell me how that is so. Tell me how that is so. Because I need to know. I need to know, y'all. I need to know why is it that everything you multiply times nine, the answer is still nine. I just want to know. Hmm? Put it in the comments. Hey, help a sister out. Help a sister out. Because numbers mean something. They mean something, y'all. Whether y'all believe it or not, they mean something. Put it in the comments. Try it and see. And they most definitely do. Three, six, and nine are three powerful numbers. Some of the most powerful numbers, if not the most powerful numbers in the universe. And uh, what she's saying is true. Y'all check it out in your calculator if you think I'm lying. During the April 8th eclipse, you're going to see the moon and the sun both in the sky at the same time. The only thing about this is you're going to know for a fact that it is not the moon that is covering the sun. You guys don't understand how important that is for mankind. This means everything that they have taught you about our solar system has been a lie. The sun being 93 million miles away, a lie. The moon being 200,000 miles away, a lie. How do we know that it's a lie? Well, just like the last eclipse, NASA's getting ready to launch three more missiles into it. How in the hell do they have a missile that can go 93 million miles? Hell, they don't even have a missile that can go 200,000 miles. So how is it? that NASA will fire rockets at the eclipse. Make that make sense. So if it's not the moon's shadow that we're gonna see across the sun, what is it? Nibiru, the planet cleaner, the dew weapon, uh, 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 the death star. You all, you, you, you all know it by many names, but uh, yeah, she's here. Now, being that Nibiru is another planet system, it's going to change the magnetic pull of Earth. Are you listening? So right now, you, you know that this is happening because they're telling us about the pole shift. But they're not telling us why the pole shifts or what makes the pole shifts. And I'm telling you that Nibiru is going to change the landscape.
Well, guys, everybody know about this Nibiru. Nibiru, you know what I'm saying, home to Anunnaki. Uh, it makes sense why they're shooting rockets at it now. If they shoot rockets, they're saying shooting rockets at the, uh, the, at the, at the, at the uh, shadow of the moon. It's not the shadow of the moon. They're shooting at Nibiru, but they want the man to knock it to come back, huh? Is that what it is? I don't know. That's crazy. And they also said the Nibiru is a, it's not only a planet or AK planet system. It's really a ship. For yo, for for the ones that out there who that don't know, it's a ship. You know. I mean, what more do y'all want me to say about it? We got y'all got to do your own little research too. You know what I'm saying? Because that's definitely what it is. And uh, it's getting closer and closer, and it's starting to make sense why they want to shoot them three rockets up there, and they're gonna be doing this CERN experiment. Maybe they're gonna try to transport themselves, open up a portal that that they could get to into the ship, on the ship, or on the, on the AKA, AKA planet Nibiru. Or maybe they're gonna try to make a portal for the Anunnaki to come through, do CERN, during the eclipse on the A. I don't know, it's a little far-fetched, but hey, you never know. Let's see what y'all think down below in the comment section. Of Hyperborea, Isaac Newton's experiment, the Northern Lights, Flat Earth explained thoroughly. Y'all, y'all don't want to miss this. Pay attention on this one. Please. Thoroughly explained. The more I study, the more I sun gaze, the more I am seeing exactly what the hell's going on in this place, and I know exactly what the fuck's going on in this place. All right, off the villa of Norway sits a solitary candle in the center of it all, David Bowie. He tells you that he's a black star, because underneath here, creating polarity between the two suns, is a black sun that sits underneath the northern lights. With these two things going on, without this sitting in the perpetual twilight and the sun in perpetual motion, there is no astral jet shooting out that creates a, a conflection between these two planes of existence. Now, the stars and the sun is all part of what they call the holographic universe because these stars are being projected down from the celestial waters and uh, the chain of command of the crown which sits up the most high <laughs> above us. <laughs> and uh, below, as they tell you, if you look at the map of Puerto Rico, you'll see Puerto Rico, you'll see that there is a dark black kingdom under here, which is the kingdom of the black sun. It's not hell. Hell is up throughout the polaris out that way somewhere. And you can get cast down from the top of the crown down to hell, which is outside of this realm. There's no hell in here. There's hell on earth because the motherfuckers that came into this motherfucker via the polaris were nothing but a bunch of assholes and they fucking enslaved everybody down here because they were not allowed to stay out there. So they come down here bringing their trouble down here. And if you understand the hex and the different sides that you see of uh, your surroundings, you'll see that they went down here, dumbed everybody down, came out, dumbed everybody down out here too. So as above, as so below. <laughs> There's a bunch of assholes running around. All right, so let's take a look. This holographic sun that's also alive is being projected and hitting the firmament on its butt shows the face because the whole light is just conscious. So if you could just see the light in its mass and its source, it would just be this. But this extrudes and extrudes a little bit of this everywhere for everyone to have a little bit of that glory. It's absolutely astonishing. In the center here, you'll see on my uh, flat earth, uh, well, it's just earth, it's, it's terra firma. But in the center, you will see a giant ice cap and they want you to believe that it's froze over and there's nothing that nobody can do and that nobody should ever go there. That is an illusion, that's bullshit. I, I made that based off of the original flat earth map that I saw, that I thought was the answer, but this is actually tropical all around here. Now, the cold fronts and everything they do is something that they're doing, manipulating it. So once you get across near Greenway, uh, uh, I mean, Norway, and you get near uh, 
the edge of the north part of Canada and all that. It gets super cold. Getting in Russia. It's fucking freezing, right? That's them manipulating the weather. Because otherwise, if you could just go there, you'd be like, wait a minute. It's gotta get. It's getting hotter. The Aurora Borealis spews out and it is hot as fuck. It is a tropical fucking paradise over there. And that is also known as Hyperborea. These four islands come around or to be considered the pie. And this is the giant tree stump with this new Rupus Negra. Hmm. I ain't gonna say that's all true and all that, y'all, but it's good entertainment, man. Like I said, use your own discernment and do your own research, man. And come up with your own opinion, you know? Here lately. Well, for one, as I'm speaking to the globe Earth believers, you guys believe that you're on a spinning ball going through outer space. And, but as also at the same time, you believe in falling stars. Well, if there's no gravity in space, how does a star fall? Why does it go sideways or up? Why does it always fall down if there's no gravity in space? Okay, well, for one, there's no space. Now, here's the answer for my truthers out there. Now, the Testament of Solomon, just like the Book of Enoch, uh, all these books were stripped from the Bible because they tell us what all these things are that surround us on this earth and what's going on up in the heavens and how everything is made. So, with that being said, let's look and see what scripture says falling stars are. Okay, Solomon 113. And when they were gone, I ordered Omias to be brought forward and said to him, Tell me how you know this. And he answered, We demons ascend into the firmament of heaven and fly about among the stars. And we hear the sentences which go forth upon the souls of men. And forthwith we come, and whether by force of influence or by fire or by sword or by some accident, we veil our act of destruction. And if a man does not die of some untimely disaster or by violence, then we demons transform ourselves in such a way to appear to men and be worshipped in our human nature. Therefore, having heard this, this glorified the Lord God. And again, I questioned the demons, saying, Tell me how you can ascend into heaven, being demons, and amidst the stars and the holy angels intermingle. And he answered, Just as things are fulfilled in heaven, so also on earth are fulfilled the types of all of them. For there are principalities, authorities, world rulers, and we demons fly about in the air, and we hear the voices of the heavenly beings and survey all powers as having no ground or basis on which to alight and rest we lose strength and fall off like leaves from trees and men seeing us imagine that the stars are falling from heaven but it is not really so king but we fall because of our weakness and because we have nowhere anything to lay hold of and so we fall down like lightnings in the depth of night and suddenly and we set cities in flames and fire into fields for the stars have firm foundations in the heaven like the sun and the moon now did you pay attention what that said right there for the stars have firm foundations in the heaven like the sun and moon which means they can't fall they are firmly put there for eternity stars do not fall demons fall and i just showed you that in scripture it's really really simple you're being lied to about your whole reality and i'm trying to teach you the real reality it's time to wake up and quit believing these lies that these people have been feeding to you for centuries now and what you got to ask yourself is why all the books that were stripped from the bible are the books that explain to us everything that's going on in the sky and what all these things are made and how they were made. And ain't it funny that all those are stripped from the Bible and the only information you are given about everything up in the sky and all around you now is given to you by NASA? Hmm. These are not fallen stars. These are the demons, the evil spirits bound here for eternity until a judgment day. Stars are angels just as the scripture of Enoch says and that is why it's called a falling star and they even hide it in the intro of Paramount movies the fallen angels descending on Mount Hermon the book of Enoch chapter 6 mm. and the angels the children of the heaven 
and there were in all 200 who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon because they swore and bound themselves by mutual imprecation. Man, how many y'all out there knew this what that represented? I never knew that. That's crazy. Man, you learn something new every day. I didn't even know this was supposed to be Mount Vernon or Mount Herman. That's crazy. Man, I'm whoo, what is this TV video right now? I got to say. This. Now the stars will fall from the sky someday at the end of times, like the book of Revelation says. But but the ones that you see in this day and time that you think are falling from the sky those are demons dang man those are fallen angels then what you are seeing falling those are demons fallen angels man those are not stars is what they telling y'all we have been deceived when you see a star fall at night you see some falling you be think oh look it's a comet or it's a shooting star a fallen star no man that's a fallen demon a shooting demon a demon shooting the earth man because he's been hey i just told you man stop praying to them fallen star to them uh making wishes to them stars that y'all be seeing thinking they stars fallen stars man that's not to make a wish you wait making a wish to a demon a demonic being that's what they telling y'all man a lot of people man it's time to awaken man we got the help of waking the rest. Stop, watch this. Trees have a frequency around 200 hertz that make you feel grounded, happy, and they also emit energy which charges your electromagnetic field. This map shows the amount of trees in a lower class area. This is a higher class area map showing way more trees. Trees have the ability to ground you, which reduces inflammation and separates red blood cells from clusters, which makes the blood more fluid, which makes the heart work less, meaning it's keeping you more healthy. This is done intentionally. Let me know what you think about this. I was today years old when I found out that they might have just... is not crazy you have no i man leave it do you it. know what book this represents there is a book that shows you how to escape the matrix a book that shows you how to escape nine to fives why haven't you heard of this book this matrix we live in it's not a computer simulation it's going to make sure that most of you don't even finish this video that way you'll always be paying bills and you'll always be working for the system. In order to understand the book, you must first understand what the matrix is. People use this word matrix all the time, but they never tell you what it truly is. It's not the government. It's not the movie matrix. It's not the red pill community. It's not a computer simulation. There are archetypes in this world. Some call them spirits. Some call them characters. It really doesn't matter what you call them. They are everywhere. Movies, history, songs, everyday life. To every spirit, there is a shadow. For every great mother, there is a devouring mother. So what's a matrix? A matrix is a medium or structure in which something develops. Matrix comes from the word mater, which means womb. A good matrix or womb sustains you so that you can be independent. A bad matrix takes from you so you can depend upon it. The matrix you live in is called civilization. See, you think civilization is synonymous with advancement, but it's not. The more advanced civilization grows, the less advanced humans physically are. And you can ask any leading anthropologist, you are being domesticated by civilization. 
They call it self-domestication. Think about it like this. What would happen to your dog if you were to leave it in your house and never come back? It depends on you, and it will surely pass away. It's that disconnected from its wild counterpart, just like you. You see, if something was to happen to civilization today, most of you would pass out many of you that you need it, that you have to have it, that without it, you cannot be a human. But there's nothing further from the truth. Ever since the advent of agriculture and civilization, famines have come into the picture. Slavery, warfare, and I'm not talking about battles between groups, I'm talking about annihilation warfare, right? More diseases, more viruses, so on and so forth, sexism, racism. But there is a way out of that. And it's this book called FAMS, Food, Forest, Foraging, Hunting, Anti-Fragile Modern Society. We're building these FAMS all across the world and you can build one without me. You can build one on your own. The book through three stories teaches you exactly how to create one of these self-sustaining systems and why you should do it. The free link for the audiobook is at the top of my page. I love you all. Peace. Man, that's a good one, man. A lot of people out there don't realize what the matrix is. That's the first thing they think. Oh, it's the Red Pill Society. Oh, the Red Pill community. Oh, it's the uh, government systems. Oh, man, it's uh, it's uh, it's the movie. It, once again, no, nah, man. It's 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 the it's the ruling authorities and spirits that we can't see behind the veil, or you know what I'm saying? That's controlling everything. That's controlling the government. That's controlling the people in charge. You know. And all that is keeping everything in in line. You no, know, it's the it's the invisible. Like I said, it's the invi invisible powers. You know, above us that we can't see. You know, that are manipulating everything, keeping everything running. You know, smoothly or running, horribly, around us. And uh, that's the system. That's the real matrix system, man. Shoot, to escape that, we have to transcend. You know what I'm saying? That's the uh, that's the only way I, I feel like you know, and uh, y'all with that said, if y'all still here kicking with your boy Kuz, I sure appreciate it. But it's the end of the video. Your boy Kuz got to go. I'm out. Holla.